everybody, welcome to our section 8.4 lecture video on problem solving with metric measurement. So in this section, you're going to do a lot of word problems and all of your word problems are going to involve some uh, either adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, but it's also going to involve conversions uh, between metric measurements, okay? so. You're going to have both things to do. A lot of these problems are going to have kind of two steps to them. Uh, so let's kind of work through a few of them to give you guys some ideas. Obviously, I can't work through every one of your homework problems. Uh, so those ones, you're going to take the, I, the principles from what I'm talking about in this video and apply them to your homework problems this week. Okay. So the first one I have says ground turkey is on sale at $8.99 per kilogram. Jake bought 350 grams of the turkey. How much did he pay to the nearest cent? So the first thing I notice is that the ground turkey is on sale for $8.99 per kilogram, but we're not given kilograms. Uh, this gives us grams. So my first step is gonna be converting from grams to kilograms, so they're in the same units. So that's my first step, is 350 grams equals how many kilograms? So to do this, I'm gonna remember that King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Going from grams, which is my base unit, to kilograms, which is the K over here. So I'm gonna move my decimal place, one, two, three places to the left. So here's my decimal place, it's after the 350. I'm going one, two, three places to the left. So 350 grams is equal to 0 0.350 or 0.35 kilograms. Okay. Now that I'm in kilograms, which is important, I can actually go back to this problem. So I need to know how much he paid. So that's the dollar amount. And I know that the turkey is $8.99 per kilogram. So what I'm going to do to solve this is I'm going to take that $8.99 per kilogram and multiply it by the number of kilograms that I have, which I just figured out is 0.35 kilogram. So this is dollars per kilogram and this is in kilograms. So those cancel out, we'll be left with dollars. So in my calculator, what I'm doing is 8.99 times 0.35 and you get about 3.1465, something like that. But it says to round it to the nearest cent. So the nearest cent is in the hundredths place. It's the four. To the right of the four is a six. Six is bigger than five, so it rounds up. So this would be $3.15. Let's do another one. Olivia has 2.6 meters of lace. How many centimeters of the lace can she use to trim each of these six hair ornaments? Round to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. So the first thing I notice is that I'm in meters, but I need to be in centimeters for the rest of the problem. So I'm going to look at that first. So 2.6 meters equals how many centimeters? I'm going to do that conversion first. And I remember that King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Uh, so meters is my base unit. Centimeters is the C over here. So I'm going to move my decimal place one, two spots to the right. So here's my decimal. I'm going over one, two to the right. So 2.6 meters equals 260 centimeters. Then I'm going to look at the rest of my problem. How many centimeters of lace can she use to trim each of the six hair ornaments? So I'm thinking that each hair ornament is probably the same length. So I'm taking that 260 centimeters and cutting it into six pieces. And they're evenly six pieces. So to solve this problem, I'm going to take my 260 centimeters and divide it by six because there's six hair ornaments that she's making. I'm not gonna multiply it. I don't gain more lace. I'm gonna use little pieces of it and they're the same length of piece. 
they're the same size, so I'm dividing it into six groups, okay? So 60 centimeters divided by six. Uh, if you do this in your calculator, you're gonna get 43.3 repeating, like that. And then it says round to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. Well, the tenth place is one past the decimal right here. Uh, to the right of it is a three, which is less than five, so it's a, it will round down. So this is approximately 43.3 centimeters. Okay. You guys hopefully are seeing some, pro some uh, the same kind of steps. I'm converting, I'm figuring out if I'm multiplying or dividing or adding or subtraction, what, you know, operation am I doing, and then rounding. Okay. Let's do one more. Ruben measured a board and found that the length was three meters plus an additional five centimeters. He cut off a piece measuring one meter 40 centimeters for a shelf. Find the length in meters of the remaining piece. So first off, I see find the length in meters. Okay, so I need to be in meters for this. So the first thing I have is three meters plus an additional five centimeters. So three meters plus five centimeters. But I wanna be in meters, so let's go ahead and convert that five centimeters to meters. So five centimeters equals how many meters? So I remember that King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. I'm going from five centimeters, that's a C, to meters, which is the base unit. So I move my decimal place two spots to the left. So here's my decimal place, I'm getting over two spots to the left. So this would be 0 0.05 meters. So really what I'm doing is three meters plus 0 0.05 meters. So that starting length here is 3.05 meters. Okay, the other piece that he cuts off is 1 meter 40 centimeters. So I'm going to do this thing to that piece. So I'm starting with 1 meter 40 centimeters and that'll be 1 meter plus 40 centimeters if you want to think about operations. 40 centimeters, again, I'm going from centimeters to the base unit of meters. So I'm moving my decimal to the right, or to the left, two spaces. So here's my decimal. I'm gonna move it to the left, two spaces. So this is one meter plus 0.4 meters, which would be 1.4 meters of a shelf. Okay, now that I'm in meters, finally, let's look at the actual problem here. So I wanna find the length in meters of the remaining piece. So we started with a board that was 3.05 meters. Then he cut off 1.4 meters for a shelf. And he's really wondering how much is left. What's the remaining piece? So to do that, I'm gonna start with my 3.05 meters. And if I'm cutting it off, I'm taking it away, which means subtraction. I'm gonna subtract 1.4 meters from the 3.05. And when I subtract, I've got an answer of 1.65 meters. Okay. All right, last one I have here says in a chemistry lab, each of the 25 students needs 72 milliliters of hydrochloric acid for their first experiment and 54 milliliters of hydrochloric acid for another experiment. How many one liter bottles of hydrochloric acid should be ordered? All right, so first thing I notice is that we're gonna wanna be in liters at some point. And really, if you wanna convert early, you can. If you wanna convert at the end, you can. Um, it really doesn't matter. So let me show you what it's like to convert at the end, just so you guys have one, one example of doing that, okay? Because sometimes you don't realize what you need to be until the end, and you can still convert at the, at the end of it, okay? So let's see here. For each student, 
they're going to do two experiments. The first experiment needs 72 milliliters. The second experiment needs 54 milliliters. So what I'm thinking is 72 milliliters for the first experiment plus 54 milliliters for that second experiment tells me how much hydrochloric acid each student is going to need which would be 126 milliliters per student. Then there's 25 of them. There's not just one student, there's 25 students. So guess what we're gonna do from here? We're gonna multiply this by 25 because we're doing it 25 times. And this is assuming there aren't any lab partners because it doesn't tell us that there's any lab partners. Um, it tells us that each student is going to need this much, so we're just going to do it 25 times. So if you multiply 126 times 25, I get 3,150 milliliters for the whole class, okay? Then it asks how many one liter bottles, so I need to go from here to liters. And again, I remember that King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. I'm going from milliliters to liters, which is the base unit. So I'm gonna move my decimal place one, two, three spaces to the left. So here's my decimal. I'm gonna move one, two, three to the left. And this is 3.150 liters. Now, how many bottles should they order? Should we re round down to three or should we round up to four? What do you think? Well, if we only got three liters, would we have enough? No, we wouldn't have enough. Somebody would be missing hydrochloric acid. So in this case, even though that 3.15 rounds down, we actually need an extra bottle to make sure that everybody has enough. So this is going to round, we're going to need four bottles, okay? And that's our answer. So hopefully it gives you guys some strategies to deal with uh, these kind of problems. Deal with them slowly, okay? Make sure your units match up and really think about what operations you're doing along the way, okay? You guys got this. Good luck this week.